What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about a popular question I get is Amazon FBA dead? Is it too competitive? Uh, there's too many sellers in it now, there's no room, etc, etc. Now I did look up some eh, statistics from Amazon and I'll let you know some things I couldn't find but I just wanted to show you how it all lays out. So when I started it was 2015-ish so I got stats from 2014 because that was the best ones I could find to show and then I found some from 2017-16 they didn't have a ton, but I just want to show you how they've grown, how the amount of sellers have grown and whatnot. So I'm just going to address the general concerns, which is, is Amazon too competitive? Uh, is it selling on Amazon dead? The answer, obviously not. There's tons of people doing it successfully. I think it is a better opportunity and based off numbers, a better opportunity to get into now than it was two years ago when I started. You guys have a better opportunity now. Now, why is that? Well, first off, Amazon's growing at an insane amount. They did so in 2014, they were at 74 billion revenue. And three years later, or sorry, two years later in 2016, they did 136 billion in sales. So they nearly doubled their sales in two years over that time. And they're still growing at a rate pretty much to keep doing that. Now, that's just crazy. Um, the only way that can make it too competitive is if the amount of sellers on Amazon was increasing at that rate, which it's not anywhere close. You're not seeing people selling on Amazon double or triple. And when people think, oh, I just saw a course on it, it's gonna be too popular because that guy got 5,000 people to join. There's already, as of 2014, there's two million sellers on Amazon and people are still able to get in there and do all this because of how many billions of sales Amazon gets and how many products there are. There's, I think it was like 50 million products on Amazon or something, but, the sales compared to how fast sellers are growing is not even close. So let's say Amazon's going to double every three years. The amount of sellers isn't doubling every three years. Maybe it doubles every 10 years. So in theory, there's more sales to be captured and less sellers to capture those. So those doing it will capture more sales. So that is why now is one of the best times to get in on Amazon because they're starting to acquire other companies and growing in different outlets and whatnot. They just acquired Whole Foods. And Amazon, like I said, biggest marketplace in the world nearly, I think there's one in China that's a little bigger, but bigger than Walmart, beat out Walmart in 2015 or 16 for the biggest online marketplace in the US. And Amazon is always expanding. Now they have a couple different, um, I think they're in over 100 countries right now, and they're working on expanding to Australia and other places. And again, no matter where you live, you can sell on some Amazon platform, but there's always new opportunities coming in with where Amazon's expanding to start selling if it ever did get competitive, which I don't see it even in the next 10 years happening. I see this growing for a while. So you could always try and take advantage of those. There's always new products coming in and out. And the whole thing that we teach and that we do is being first to market and jumping on those. So whether there's 10 sellers or a million, if you know what you're doing and you jump on them and you get in first, you will still capture those sales. So it doesn't really matter how competitive it got. Obviously, it makes it a little bit easier if it's not, but even if it was, I'd still be doing it because I know of those two million sellers, how many of you, how many of them probably sell one product? Probably half. Uh, how many of them know what they're doing? Probably 5% max. Uh, a lot of them are big businesses that don't do private labeling like us. So we know how to manipulate the ranks. We know how to get ranked. We know how to get sales. We know how to do the marketing, which 90, I think I'm gonna say 95% of those people don't know how to do. It's probably more. So, I mean, like I said, the main thing is the seller to buyer ratio. Now, if you want to go compare this to something like eBay, eBay, how many sellers they had in 2016? 25 million sellers. 2014, Amazon had 2 million. And eBay's sales are way less, they're way smaller, and so obviously Amazon's way better. Now, why is that? If Amazon's bigger, why do less people sell on Amazon if the sales are there and there's less people? That doesn't make sense. Well, Amazon seems complicated, when you don't know and you haven't been taught because there's a lot of things you have to do whereas eBay you just list it and you're done there's a lot more that goes into Amazon it's not complicated when you know what you're doing but it's kind of a barrier to entry which is again another reason people will be like oh Amazon's too complicated it's not complicated once you know what you're doing it's very simple because it's the same thing over and over you just got to know the rules and what to do which is why it's a good thing and Amazon makes not doesn't make it more difficult but they put up more barriers for to scare off people who aren't serious about it. So if you guys are serious about it, it's very easy to get in. It's not like it's difficult, they try and stop you. They just want real sellers like what we're doing. And I mean, they're perfectly fine with that. They just don't want the knockoffs and other stuff. So 
there's a lot, not a lot more, there's barriers to entry, which are good with Amazon. Because then you can take advantage of how much, how many sales they have and how big they're growing. I mean, I don't know when the growth will stop or slow down. I don't think it ever will. They're going to keep acquiring different companies in different niches. And they're going to keep expanding different countries, more warehouses. And that's just going to give you more and more opportunities to jump on. And I just think they're going to explode. But I just wanted to address that. Amazon selling is not dead. Amazon FBA isn't dead. Someone says, oh, I tried a product. It's just too competitive. They don't know I do product research. They didn't choose the right product. It's not about the whole market. It's about the product. If there's a billion sellers and only a few are selling this um, one product, I can still jump in there. It doesn't matter how many sellers there are overall if I can still jump on that. So Amazon's not dead. It's not going to die anytime soon. Amazon's growing at an insane rate. And like I said before, if you jump in now, it's a better time than when I started two years ago because of the seller to sales ratio. And I hope that makes sense for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.